I'm Dr. David Wolfson. When it comes to taking care of your asthma, there are three very important points. One, always have your medicine on hand. Two, know how to use your medicines. And three, know how to get help should you need it. We at Children's Community Pediatrics and Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh can help you control your asthma. Here's more information about what to do when you or your child is having problems with asthma symptoms from asthma specialist John Broyles. <coughs> She's coughing, but she doesn't need albuterol. I was told it was her rescue inhaler, and she doesn't seem that bad. You don't need to wait until your child's wheezing or having trouble breathing before you give albuterol. In fact, cough is usually the first sign that there's a problem. <coughs> <coughs> Waiting can make symptoms more difficult to treat. The albuterol helped, but only for a few hours. Now she's coughing again, and it seems like she's having trouble breathing. I was told she should only have the albuterol every four hours. You can safely give another two to four puffs of albuterol, even if it's only been two hours. If your child needs two to four more puffs of albuterol, it could be a sign that her asthma is about to worsen. So be sure to call your child's doctor to get further instruction. <coughs> <coughs> Always treat cough with albuterol. Don't wait before your child's really having a tough time before you decide to give it. If you do need to give albuterol and it's been less than four hours, you need to call your child's doctor for further recommendations. If your child's really having a tough time breathing, you need to make that phone call right away. Hi, I'm Linda Earhart with the American Lung Association, Program Manager for Pennsylvania Asthma Partnership. I hope you found these videos helpful. For more information on how to stay healthy and gain control of your asthma, you can visit these websites, chp.edu or paasthma.org.